that's the perfect taco. Brisket, avocado, salsa, and like grandma with las tortilla. Life is good. There's nothing better. You know, a lot of, you know, Texas, we think of Texas and, and it's brisket and white bread, but not this Mexican right here. Brisket, tacos is where it's at. Hi, my name is Ernest Cervantes. I am the pit master, the pit boss, and metal, metal, frijolero of the Burnt Bean Company. The Burnt Bean Company is my baby. I, you know, it's a, it's a competition team out of uh, New Braunfels, Texas, but uh, born and raised in New Valley, Texas. So um, I'm bringing a lot of uh, award-winning competition barbecue to Texas and the nation. I look back on how I started this whole barbecue thing. I started off with an H-E-B barrel pit, 50 bucks, and, and a Weber. I bought it at a garage sale for like $10, and the rest is history. Everything I did in the barbecue world, I learned from trial and error. There was no barbecue classes as there is today, and there's no cheat scales. I wanted to know the purity of not only the sport of barbecue, but the purity of how to cook some of the worst cuts of meat and make it some of the best food you'll ever have. A lot of people don't realize that the, the effort and the long hours that you put to to make such a great product, you can stay up all night. And it's taken me a long time, but you know, um, I don't regret it. You know, I've slowly moved on from an HEB barrel pit to a small trailer pit, to a bigger pit and a bigger pit, and then my, my fleet ship pit. And, and it's really cool to see myself grow. So me and my, uh, my homeboy, uh, Hondo Hernandez from California, you know, we were like, man, we should make this club, you know, this club about the elite of the elite, the brisket guys, you know, those metal medals, you know, so we came up with the brisket cartel. We have about 13 members all over the country, and these are the best of the best when it comes to brisket. This is what everybody wants to wear in the barbecue world. I don't want to sound arrogant, but you, you know what's up. This is what they want to have. They want to have the OG cap that says brisket cartel because they know that they get that respect. I always thought that the Mexicanos never got their foot in the sand when it came to barbecue. I think, you know, a lot of people are notarized for everything else. So when I had these opportunities, I wanted to be, not necessarily, there might've been other, you know, um, founding fathers when it came to barbecue and those Mexicanos, but to make it nationally known, not from the city, you know, everybody, little small town, has a little great barbecue joint, but how many people do you know that spread the gospel of the, of the, of the Mexicans barbecue and say, look, not only can we compete with y'all, we can beat y'all with our flavors. And you know, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be one of those guys that paid it forward and be an inspiration to the future generations of Mexicanos when it comes to barbecue. You know, some of the best, the best cookers in the state are from the valley, you know, South Texas. And to see them say, hey man, you're the one that inspired me, that itself paid for itself. And, and at the end of the day, when, you know, as, as they say, the cowboy rides away, you know, as, you know, as my barbecue pit burns its last ash or last log, I want people to see me as well as I get old say, you see that old man right there? He's the one that inspired me to become a barbecue guy. I want to create a legacy, not only for my family, but to the Mexicanos and to everybody else to understand that anybody can do it. And that's where it's at. Man, I'll tell you what, you know, tacos, tacos are life, man. Tacos is love because you think of your grandparents. Tacos is a time of, of, of parties, of community. Of, of, it's just, I call it a pillow of love. It can be corn and it can be, you know, flour, and then you can get all to the, all the fancy ones. But in my opinion, a good taco starts off with a good foundation. You can have the best chorizo and egg in the world, but if that taco, you know, that tortilla sucks, man, it's like, eh. 
So, you know, tacos is, is what I, I love and uh, I always do it. And, and, and people call me weird. I just ate a brisket taco. I don't want brisket and, a, uh, you know, a bread. I wanted a taco because it's a vessel that you can just stuff a whole lot of crap on, you know what I mean? I see myself and I look back on where I started and where I'm, where I'm at right now. As the year's gone on, I've gotten more sponsors and I've been so grateful, you know, people like Smithfield and Western Wood, uh, those are the people that, you know, they believe in me and there's nothing better. And I tell this so many people, I'm successful because of my family, because of all the people who believed in me. And, and to see where I've gone and where I am now, and I literally look like a NASCAR trailer rolling down the road with all these corporate sponsors and this big old thing that says Burnt Bean Company, and you see it, and it's just such a presence. It's taken me you know, close to 10 years to get to here, but you look at where I started and where I've gotten with all that hard work, and now I have a rolling billboard of who I am and who I represent. I represent the Mexicanos, and they see that mural, and it's like an East LA mural with all the Aztec warriors and you know the Day of the Dead skulls and stuff, but I'm proud of my culture. And that's one thing I'm always, ne I'm never ashamed of. I can be in New York, or I can be in Midwest, and I'll be rolling and they know who I am. I always say, work hard till you no longer have to introduce yourself. I let my food speak for itself. I let my food, my barbecue, walk with a big stick. I don't brag about myself. I let my food do it.